been there for a little bit after the game. Guys came over to talk to you. How, how stunning was it? I mean, you guys up 54 seconds left. They got to go 75 yards, and they somehow end up winning the game. How, how, how stunning, how tough is it? Uh, yeah, definitely very tough. Um, but, you know, looking back at the whole game, made a bunch of mistakes, uh, bit ourselves in the foot a bunch. So, uh, you know, when you play a good team like that, you got to clean that stuff up. So. Did you have any words for your teammates back in the locker room? And if so, what did you say? Yeah, um, you know, really just to the older guys, uh, pick these younger guys up. You know, it's not the end of the world. Um, and then again, to the younger guys, uh, you know, it's, like I said, it's not the end of the world. Um, this win is, or this loss isn't going to define us. Um, you know, we're really starts next week in Pac-12 playing with 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, and so just moving on from there and uh, keeping on their time. Do you remember kind of what was going through your head uh, right after the game ended? Like, what you thinking? Yeah, um, you know, definitely in shock. Uh, you know, obviously heartbroken, um, more so for the guys and, and how hard we worked as a team. And so, uh, you know, it's just, just really heartbroken for my teammates, for sure. Dorian, talk about the adjustments at halftime because statistically, you, you didn't have a very good first half. But in the second half, you were finding Kyle Phillips open quite a bit. What did you see that made those adjustments in the second half? Yeah, um, you know, they stayed in their base look, uh, too high quarters look, uh, and really just utilizing um, our guys on the inside, uh, trying to create some mixed matches with Kyle and Gray. Um, and so I think Coach Kelly and Coach Rod did a great job scheming that up. Um, that's what you saw in the second half. So. You guys had two really convincing, impressive wins up in the season. Does this offset that at all, or do you feel like you, know, you guys still have everything you want in front of you? Uh, it shouldn't. Uh, I think the leaders on this, on this team won't let it. Um, and like I said before, it all starts next week when we, when we play the Pac-12 play, and uh, we start off 0-0. Zero, zero, so. Contra has called the first half a little bit of like early game jitters. What do you think went into kind of that slow start for you guys on offense? Yeah, I think just not executing, um, trying to do too much. Uh, guys trying to play other guys' positions and, and not really play their role, um, and getting outside of their outside of their role and what they're supposed to do on each play. Um, I think a bit is in the foot a little bit as well as just some mistakes and stuff like that too. So. Okay. Um, how was it like having Sam around with that? Oh, it was great. Uh, like I said, Sam brings all the knowledge and, and all the technique and stuff to the offense line room. Um, so it was definitely great having him out there. We had that chemistry and that connection already from the years before. So um, it was definitely great having Sam right now there for sure. What were you guys kind of saying to each other in the locker room afterward, trying to help each other out? Uh, you know, this win doesn't define us. Uh, it's not going to help us or, or hurt us in the Pac-12 play. Um, we're trying to hit our main goals, Pac-12 championship and the Rose Bowl. So, um, you know, just, just keeping that perspective and, and ready to come to work tomorrow on Sunday. So. You guys have been so good ru running the ball. What was the uh, Fresno State doing to kind of keep you down on that side of the ball? Uh, you know, when you play quarters, that's a heavy run to stop in defense. And so, um, you know, they loaded the box, uh, gave us some funky looks to, to kind of get us out of our run game. So. Was it designed for you to run so much? Uh, we had some read zone uh, in, the, in the playbook this week. And so, um, you know, just going off our reads and, and what the defense man was giving me, uh, they made me pull the ball last night. All right, thank you, Dorian. Thank you, guys.